Okay, um, hi everyone, so I finally did it. I finally am able to resize the window and change the centering. See that? Now, yeah, I know it This it doesn't look, the sh shape's not exactly square, but I can ch easily change that. Um, it's just a few values in the, I think the para parallel pipette shape, which also known as the clipping planes, basically. Uh, the clipping planes might be a bit off, or I changed the value wrong in something. It doesn't matter, it's easy fixable. But yeah, there you go. So everything is definitely, that is definitely centered. Go ahead and measure it yourself. It is definitely centered, and yeah, just wonderful. So, yeah, uh, that's my first true centered window, and my gosh, it took me three days, but I managed it, so... Yes, I did. Uh, if you want to know how it's done, you basically just have to make sure your range is within minus 1.0 and 1.0. Um, don't use 0, 0.0 unless you're doing like textures, but I, even then I would be careful with that. But And then you have to set, you have to just do the matrix properly. You have to set the actual clipping planes properly, unfortunately. Um, so this is how you do it. You, here's the right plane, the left plane. And what you're doing is, ch you can change the size of these by adding to them or taking away. Um, and then you divide it by 2.0 to get it into normalized coordinates, right? Um, and do it with all this, these, except, uh, and you do it with these, but in a different way. Because this is perspective um, uh, division. And now what that means is, if I wanted to say, in the x-axis do perspective division what would happen is it would bend this like that way I think um, I could prove that to you by um, changing this value here if I set this to 1.0 it might do it forward it might do it backwards but it's going to do it on the x-axis I'm sure it's going to turn actually and look like it's it, it looks like it's turning, but it's not actually turning, but um, it's just like it's getting perspective. It's going downwards and getting shrink smaller and smaller as it goes towards the far plane. Um, so let's just compile this. Yep, yeah, see? So um, what's happening is it's it's going like that so if I kept doing that it's going to go I, I think it's either going to go this direction or that direction but it or, or like that but it's going to always go yeah see so if I set it to 2 or 1.5 or 2.0 that's interesting Um, I think that's correct actually it's just coming closer to the screen if I keep doing this it's going to come closer and closer to the screen uh, to the uh, eye position where we're looking at see there you go yes, yeah so I was right yeah so that's basically what's happened so it's basically going like this the more I add to it the more it's going like this but it's still just perspective division so it's that actually has perspective because I'm doing that uh, in a sense uh, but it doesn't have fully perspective because you're not using this end value, which is the T W translation. Which and 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 also you need to know that W values are they go through the entire matrix, right? Um, and so if you're doing translation um, projection division, then and you have it set to a near plane and far plane, that's how you get that perspective thing, right? Um, and how you do that is, um, it's kind of weird. It's like you have to do like near plane, far plane, take away near plane, divided by like something like that, far plane, take away near plane, something something weirdness like that. I'm sorry, I don't know the exact equation, but that's the I, kind of the idea of it. Um, and then you'll have um, the your parallel pipette, which is the structure you're trying to build. That's what a perspective but not perspective sorry projection matrix is is basically you building a shape 
um, that has your models inside of, not the camera position, and not the model view position which moves the model inside the frustum. That's what people call it, but um, yeah. So it's the shape that everything's inside of, and then the viewport is the hole that you're seeing through, right? The camera position's here, then the viewport's here. So if you change the um, the camera position, you're moving the viewport. So yeah, if you close the viewport, you won't be able to see anything, right? But your model will still be within that far in here. Play the interesting thing is. Even though it, th it's, it you think it's actually inside the, the frustum, um, it is, but it's not in the way that if I was to go like this, the model isn't going to follow the 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 parallel pipette structure. It's going to stay where it is. So here's the camera, right? And if I turn it like this, the model is still going to be here. So that's the thing to understand is that all you're doing is creating a shape that you, everything stays inside of a box like yeah like a, it's like a yeah like a box camera you know a cutout camera you have your model inside but well actually that's different because there's actually a walls but if you just imagine the walls were transparent or whatever you, you could go through them yeah so that's the whole that's what the whole weirdness about perspective projection is is that you're not really you know, making it projecting a, a, a square into a flat plane in a sense, you're, you're actually, well, you are in a sense because the viewport is, you're seeing flat, even though you're turning the thing around. But yeah, I think you get what I'm saying, mostly. Yeah. So there you go. Um, I did it so and I could resize this and I believe oh that's because I haven't, res I haven't set the parallel pipette on the same thing if I was to set this to 8 and then oh shit set this to 8 and then go down and set this to to 8 it still might shrink itself but um, it won't be it will still be in that same sort of way uh, off the screen actually even Hold on, let me just do something quickly to fix that. That's getting on my nerves now. Yeah, let's just make that the same as this and see if that fixes it. Oh, this is so annoying. What does this? Okay. Um, five. Oh! Dickhead. too much. Oh shit. One more time. Okay, that'll do. Wait, no, that won't. No, that won't. Oh shit. This is the Vim, it's really weird. Three. Nope. Oh my god. Just one. There we go. Fucking hell. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, what? Why doesn't it keep the freaking thing? Oh, that's very interesting indeed. Um, you know why that is? Just 
To be honest, I have no idea why it's doing that. Ah. Uh. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a bug, big ass bug that would have lasted like 10 hours. See, it's not changing its size, but it's actually moving about. Yes, fucking awesome. Pro, yay. Okay, so there you go. That's basically the idea. So, yeah, you need, and uh, another thing, right? This is XX, XY, XZ, XW. Y X, Y Y Y Z Y W Z X Z Y Z Z and Z W. Uh, um, this is translate X, translate Y, translate Z, and then translate W. This bottom row is trans, uh, uh, perspective division. Only if you have Geo True set. If you don't, then this is translate, and this is the W coordinate. So remember that so if you have that set to true then this is the translate coordinate and this is the w coordinate here okay but they're all part of the same thing so you go x y z w x y z w x y z w you know on the second row not the first row the first row is x y z w no t sorry X, Y, Z, T. Okay, there you go. So there you go, if you're wondering. Um, right, so I'll just end the video there. So thank you for watching.